Hi everyone, Chef Ron Locke here. Now we are just about ready to start this week's episode of the Chef Ron Locke Show and we have a great episode lined up for you. First time guest host Christopher Cub, party planner entrepreneur, is going to be coming on and introducing today's recipe and the ingredients that will be going on to that. And then when he is done, I'll come in in the next segment and show you how it's all put together. And at the end, show you a great presentation of this wonderful meal we'll be doing for you today. So, without any further ado, let's start heating up the kitchen with the Chef Ron Locke Show. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Christopher Cub. Hello everyone, Christopher Cub here. <laughs> oh, I'm Christopher Cub. It's Christopher, not Chris. And I'm Cub with two B's and not one. So you bears out there, I'm sorry. Not gonna do it. No, no, no. Anyway, so I am so happy to be here on the Chef Ron Lock Show with my good friend Chef Ron. And I just really love the whole aspects of what he's doing here with this weekly food show and showing everybody the great things about food and what to make and how to make it and how to plan it and all that good stuff. I'm an event planner, so I know all about getting things ready and getting it all together and making it special at the end. And so, trust me, this, this is a good thing. I hope you all are really enjoying this and I hope you're getting something out of it. So, a little bit about me. I'm supposed to tell you a little bit about me to get the ball rolling here since this is my first time on the Chef Ron Locke Show. Well, obviously my name is Christopher Cub, and I might as well just get this out in the open because I get so many people that sit and, and just guess about this. It's worse than Pat from Saturday Night Live, I swear to God. Look, okay folks, I'm gay, okay? I'm just gonna say it right now. There's no beating around the bush. I'm that kind of a person. I'm just very upfront and straight. And, uh, well, not straight, but <laughs> you know. But anyway, so, I, look, I'm gay, and uh, that's just the way it is. And so I hope nobody has a problem with that. And I just wanted to clear the air right now in case any of you people out there were wondering if I was or not. I'm sure there were a few of you that probably were scratching your heads going, I wonder about him, you know, because, I mean, really, who would think, you know? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't look at things sexually anyway. I just look at, you know, who you are and, and, and what you are. And so, anyway, that's just me. So I just want to get that out in the open. I'm not going to be a political person about this. I'm not going to be somebody who's going to be on here all, every time I come on and touting the gay flag and all that stuff. You know, there are other people that can do that. I'm a professional. I just you know, wanted to let people know that because there's always this little snickering and talking behind people's backs and stuff, and it just makes it so uncomfortable. So let's just oh, get the cards on the table, for God's sake, right? I mean, I think that's fab, you know? Anyway, so... With that said, and you're all still sitting down, so that's a good sign, okay? <laughs> so, Christopher Cub, what is about Christopher Cub that you want to know? Okay, well, let me tell you just a briefly a bit about myself. I am from Ogunquit, Maine. My family was born and raised there. A great little in the gay little town, in a little fun little town. And, and I started getting interested in event planning and party planning. I planned my first birthday party at age 10. And uh, it was this very rousing success, actually. And people just couldn't believe what a great job I did. And then from there, I ended up going to New York. And I went to planning school. I got my degree in event planning. Okay. And so from there, I ended up going and working under different people. And uh, 
You find that funny? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, not that way, sweetie. I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Christopher Cub did not sleep his way to the top. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Anyway, so I, I work with very many people in my career getting the knowledge of event planning and such. And then eventually I became comfortable enough to open my own business. And my own business then became very big. And, and so that's where we are today, Christopher Cub Limited. And we do parties and I do all kinds of different events around the world. I do award ceremonies. I do parties. I do dignitary gatherings. I do all kinds of things. Um, I'm pretty well known in the industry, quite frankly. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of me, especially if you've ever had any dealings with a big event or something like that that you needed to have somebody come and prepare or the, the party for. So anyway, that's all about me and pretty much in a nutshell. Um, what else? Oh, I just broke up with my, my boyfriend David and I just broke up. Um, we, yes, yes, I, you know, I dated him for two weeks, you know, and I mean, I, I just didn't understand what was up. I had, you know, I don't know, it's just sad because, you know, you give so much to yourself. I'm a giver. I love to give to people. Um, I, I love people. I really do. And, and I just don't understand what it is about these people. And, and I, I just can't seem to find anybody that I can hold on to. They all just seem to want to run away after a couple weeks. And I don't know. It's not me. It's certainly not me because I do everything possible that I can to keep them happy. And, you know, I wine and dine them and all that good stuff and, you know, all that. But it just seems like after a week or two, they just want to just flee, you know, I, 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 feel like a, I feel like a lost country that they're fleeing the homeland or something like that, you know, and so I just don't know what it is, you know, I, I, you know, it, it's just these people today, they're just, they just don't want to give any sort of commitment to anything, so I don't know, anyway, so that's pretty much it, I guess in a nutshell, the producer's telling me I should roll this up here because we're running out of time and I can tend to talk a little bit, so we should probably tell you what we're going to be making today and also show you the ingredients of what's going in there. Today's recipe that Chef Ron's going to put together for you is going to be a bacon, egg, and cheese muffin, and that's just scrumptious. Oh, I've had these before, they're just scrumptious. And so, anyway, that's what we're making for you. And so let's get started. Let's tell you what we're going to be putting into this. Very simple, by the way. This is very easy. And we're going to start here. We've got six strips of bacon. Now, Chef Ron will come back in the next segment. He'll show you how to get the bacon ready for these scrumptious muffins. And then we've got five eggs that are beaten. And we've got here... Uh, one cup of mozzarella cheese, which I love cheese. I, I think a lot of people out there love cheese, but I love cheese on just about anything, really. So, okay, so then we've got here one tablespoon of olive oil and also a mixture here of two tablespoons of dried basil and one teaspoon of black pepper. And that's going to be sprinkled on top. But I don't want to spoil the show for you because I've already seen him make these. I know how it is. So I should just be quiet and probably go now. And so with that, Chef Ron will be back up here shortly. He'll show you how to put this all together. And he'll show you how it all looks at the end. And I'm sure it will be as fabulous as it always is. So anyway, that's it for me. Chef Ron's up next. So... From the party planning funness of myself, this is Christopher Cub with Two Bees Not One saying ta ta everyone. Well, hi everyone, Chef Ron here. How's everybody doing out there today? Huh? Come on, come on. Day today. How did you guys enjoy Christopher Cub? Huh? Did you did you enjoy his little segment we just got done watching here? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he 
he's he is certainly colorful. I'll say that much. He certainly beats to his own drum, and he'll and he'll tell you that too. He will tell you that. Well, you know what we're already gonna have today because he's already told you that in the first segment. But well, we're gonna keep things short and simple in the kitchen here. A nice easy breakfast meal for you all. Again, what were we doing? We're gonna be doing for you our bacon, ham, and cheese breakfast muffin. Pretty simple. All right. Let's show you how the saw rolls, all right? First thing you want to do is you want to go and get yourself a large skillet like we have here on our stove here. Go ahead and see if you can see that. There you go. And basically all you want to do is go ahead and take your olive oil. You want to put your two tablespoons of olive oil into your skillet. Put that at medium to medium high, all right? And go ahead and take your six strips of bacon. You're going to go ahead and put those in to the skillet. All right, and what you want to do then is just go ahead and let those sit in there for about 30 seconds on one side and just flip each of them over with a tong and just let them uh, sit on the other side for about 30 seconds in that oil. You want to get them kind of limp, all right? You don't want to cook them. You just want to get them kind of started because we're going to go ahead and cook all those into our little muffin tins here in just a bit when we show you how that's all going to go. All right, so once you've done that, you drain off all the grease that you have in that pan and you're going to go ahead and put your bacon on a dish just like we have here you see now this is how your bacon should look you see it's really not cooked but it's just at the point of being cooked a little bit just a, a little bit that will help us get this whole breakfast recipe started all right and that's how that should look well all right now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get ourselves a muffin pan and get ready to get all our ingredients incorporated and make this fantastic breakfast for y'all. So what you first want to do is get yourself a muffin tin like I have right here. All right. Now this recipe calls for six of our little muffins, our little breakfast muffins. All right. Now you can use a six or a 12 muffin tin if you like. Now I've got a 12, but we're only going to use the first, in, the, the, the two middle layers in the middle. Reason we want to do that is to keep the heat centralized. You don't want to use the ends because it won't distribute the heat correctly and your eggs may not cook out as well in the end. So make sure if you use a 12 like we're using here, and this is one of the reasons I'm doing it to give this tip, is to use the middle for the convection that will come in toward the center as you bake those. All right. So we've got here, again, like I said, our, our muffin tin. What you want to do next is take some butter or some cooking spray, whatever you like to use to lightly grease your bakeware with. Go ahead and do that. And we've already gone ahead and done that this time. This is a non-stick, but I also like to put a little extra in because eggs have a tendency to stick really heavily, when, especially under the high heat. Now, what you want to do also at this point is go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees because we're going to need to put that into a hot oven. All right. The lastly thing, what you want to do is make sure that your hands are clean because I'm going to be playing in my food here a little bit with my hands as I always do. I'm going to roll my sleeves up actually as... I get ready to do that. You want to make sure you get your hands nice and clean and your environment nice and clean as well. Meaning your countertops and anything else that may have splattered in the prep process of putting together your meal. All right. It's just a good practice to always do. I'm sure all you do that. I just like to talk about it. All right. So I'm going to wash my hands here real quick. All right. There we go. I wasn't gone too long. <laughs> All right, there. Okay, clean hands. Okay, sleeves are rolled up. We're ready to work. Now, what we want to do first off is we want to take our bacon. We got six strips of bacon for six of these muffins. Take your first piece, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, like so. Just set that in the bottom of your mold here like that and you want to have the end sticking up just like I have here it looks like little rabbit ears you know <laughs> like, like that you know but that's how it should look like antlers rabbit ears you get the idea dog's ears sticking up that's how it should look just like that all right we're just gonna make one just to speed the process up just to show you how it's done we'll construct the rest of these before we put this in the oven and we'll get to that all right so first of all get your bacon in there just like that you want to take your egg mixture, your five eggs that you've beaten up, all right? You want to go ahead and just spoon some of that in, and we're going to do that. Try not to make too much of a mess, I guess. You want to fill it up pretty close to the top. You could just pour it in, too. I'm trying to be a little neat here on the show and, uh, and just do this. 
without making too much of a mess. A presentation, you know. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you out there, if somebody was looking into your window while you were cooking, you, uh, you'd probably quickly close the blinds and maybe even hide under the counter or something. Because <laughs> I'm sure the kitchen probably isn't the most, uh, the most um, together there. All right. A little bit of the yolk in there. That's all right, though. I like a little white with my yellow. All right. So you got something like that. Almost to the top, as you see. All right. Then what you're going to do, just take a spoonful or so of your cheese, just enough to get on the top. That's why you don't want to fill it completely at the top. See how I'm doing that? Try not to get, if you can, try not to get any on the outside. It'll burn a little bit. That's all right. There, just like that. Don't press down. Just do like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a little pinch or two of our basil and our pepper mixture that we have here and just sprinkle that on the top. You see, just like that. Real easy. It depends how much you want. I'm just going to do a little bit like that. Okay? Just like that. All right, that's pretty much it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of a break here. Y'all don't go away. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these five that I still need to do here. And then we're going to come back. And I'm going to show you how all six look. We're going to go ahead and throw this into the oven. We've got mailbag coming up. we got some great things still coming up here on the show. So don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. On the next episode of the Chef Ron Locke Show. And, you know, I, I am who I am. You know, I'm a firm believer in just being who you are. So, if you want to be a socialite traveler, and if you are fortunate enough to have the money to do it, then why not, right? If you want to have a martini at 2 in the afternoon, why not? <laughs> and if you want to... And if you want to do whatever you want to do, why not? I mean, really. I mean, come on. For me, I'm gonna bring my mixer down. Like so. Like that. And then we're just gonna start mixing this up. Just like this. You got one like I do here. You can turn the bowl and just start mixing it up. It gets a little messy too, don't worry about that. There we go. I don't think that bowl is completely on there, actually. <laughs> All right. And what you want to do every so often. Well, all right, as you can see, we've got our six bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast muffins ready to go into our preheated 425 degree oven. We're going to do that for you right now. I'm going to turn my back on you here just one second while I put these in. Now, all right. Now, there we go. There I am. <laughs> You can put these in for at least 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Now you want to go ahead and check at the beginning of the 10 minute segment there to make sure that these eggs do not get hard because some ovens are different. Every oven works a little differently, some ovens heat a little differently. So at about 10 minutes you want to start watching your oven and just make sure that the eggs don't look runny. You'll know, you'll be able to look. You'll see when we take them out at the end how they're going to look. That's how they should look in your oven when you take them out. The nice thing about this recipe is that it's a kind recipe, it's a forgiving recipe because if for some reason when you take them out and the eggs are still a little runny, you can go ahead and put that back into the oven for about two to five minutes. Now, I wouldn't put them any more in about five minutes. Five minutes should probably take care of it for you, but you just don't want to get them really hard because I'm telling you, it would be like eating a hard boiled egg. It would not be a good experience for you, let me tell you. So again, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes and that should do you good. All right, we're going to come back in just a bit and show you that. Well, all right, let's go to our next segment, which is mail call. Now, mail call is where one of our viewers out there can ask any question of either myself or one of the special guest ingredient presenters. Now that gets to be rather interesting because the sky's the limit. Pretty much can ask anything you want. And so let's see who our viewer picked as their person to ask and their question to ask. Let's take a look right now. Mailbag. On this edition of Mailbag, this question comes to yours truly, Chef Ron Locke. Now, this question comes from John S. in Des Moines, Iowa, and John wants to know what my favorite hobbies and interests are. 
Now, John, that's a great question, so let me tell you a little bit about those. Well, first of all, I love anything culinary and food, of course. I, uh, it's my job. I enjoy doing it. And it's really nice to be able to do something that you love to do for your work. I, I just I couldn't I couldn't think of anything else I'd rather do, quite frankly. So outside of that, what other things do I like to do? I love the outdoors. I like to go to the beach. I love to camp. I like to hike. I love to go boating. I love to ride bikes. I, I love the outdoors. I guess that's probably why I enjoy living here in South Florida because you can do that all year round. I also love motorcycles, especially Harleys and I love to get out on the bike and ride as much as I can. I also enjoy working out. I love to travel. I love my home and especially my backyard. I love working in there. I have a garden in the backyard that I like tooling around in and also landscaping and things like that. I love getting my hands into nature like that. And of course, I also love my family and friends and spending as much time with them as I can. So that's a few of the things that I enjoy doing. That's a great question. Thanks so much for asking, John. If you have a question you'd like to ask myself or one of the cast, please feel free to write us at mailbag at crl at chefronlock.com. That's crl at chefronlock.com. In the subject, just put mailbag and ask your question, and maybe we'll ask one of yours on a future segment of mailbag. So, back to the Chef Ron Lock Show. Well, all right, you can see right here we've got our six, well, well five, and actually there's one sitting on my presentation plate over here, our bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast muffins right here. All right, I just wanted to show you. You saw the wonderful presentation of them in the opening of this segment here. So we're going to go ahead right now and go over to our presentation plate, but I just wanted to tell you one thing before we do that, that if you notice, you see we have these wings the bacon wings on the sides of these little muffins. Now the reason for that, and I didn't want to tell you until now so I could show you, is that they are little handles that you pick up each of your muffins with and put them on a plate or however you want to eat them, grab and go, whatever you want to do. So, so <laughs> what was that? Yeah, you, yes I did wash. Somebody in the audience said, did you wash your hands? And I said, yes, yes, I washed my hands. You saw me do it on the break, actually. <laughs> you, I got hecklers here already. I have hecklers on my show already. Can you believe that? All right. Yes, my hands are clean. Anyway, but um, <laughs> I love it. Uh, anyway, so getting back to what I was saying. So you have these little bacon wings or, or or ears or whatever you want to call them that will help you pull them out easily. That was the reason for that. I wanted to show you that at the end um, after they came out of the oven. So, all right, let's go to over to our presentation plate. We're just going to take a little bit of a bite on this and just show you what it looks like on the inside. Let me go ahead and get a, a knife and a fork here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you can probably do it with that. All right. I want to cut one in half so you can see what it actually looks like, all right? So we've got it sitting right here, as you can see, okay? And it looks just fantastic. Uh, they're really easy. Like I said, you just pop them two or three bites, they're good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and cut one here just so you can see how it looks on the inside. Come on. Ah. Let me see if I can do that there. Just like that. All right, there we go. There, just slide it down. All right, okay. And that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like on the inside when you get it done. It's perfectly done. The egg is perfectly done. The bacon's done. Everything is perfectly done. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's go ahead and just take a bite of one of these. We'll take the take the clean one here. All right. Mm. That was a big bite. <laughs> that was a big bite. But they're fantastic. It's all, all I can say, it really is almost like an omelet. It's like a bacon, cheese, and egg omelet. It's all kind of wrapped up into one nice little convenient grab-and-go size. Fantastic. Give these a try. They're really good. Kids will love them. Kids will love them because 
They're small, they're compact, they can take them with them on the way to school. Grown-ups love them because you can take them to work or you can just make a nice little presentation. They work great too for a brunch, for a little presentation on a plate. I've done that in my business too as well. It's fantastic, all right? So there you go. There is your bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast muffins. All right, well that's it for the Chef Ron Lock Show. Chef Ron Lock here saying to everybody, thank you so much for coming and watching the show today. We'll have another great episode for you next time. But for now, get off that couch and get cooking. And we will see you next time. Take care.